yeah good evening i'm going to discuss the variation of emf with temperature so in the last class i have explained when the thermocouples i explained the thermocouples the cbx series of um, metals and how the current will flow uh, from the lower metal to higher metal now i'll go for uh, variation of thermo emf with temperature consider a thermocouple made of copper and iron containing uh, galvanometer g in series so one junction of one junction of a couple is kept at 0 degrees celsius and the other is maintained at a higher temperature so we have taken the the two thermocouple the two thermocouple in between this galvanometer and these junctions one junction is at 0 degree and another is at high temperature okay so now uh, what will happen as a copper appears in the earlier of cbax series thermo uh, a current flows from the copper to the iron through the through the junction okay the hot junction is the temperature of the hot junction is increased the thermoelectric current increases for a small difference in a temperature the thermo emf is proportional to temperature for large difference of temperature the emf first increases and for a certain temperature of the hot junction it becomes maximum this again i will explain in the later part this temperature is known as neutral temperature so in the first part i will define only the definitions so what do you mean by neutral temperature the temperature of the hot junction at which the thermo emf reaches a maximum value is called as neutral temperature okay so we made a junctions um, that is we made a thermocouple so one part of the junction is kept at 0 degree and another part is we are going to temperature of the another junctions is we are going to vary then we are observing the emf value in that particular junctions now the neutral temperature is a constant for a given thermocouple and it depends on the pair of metals chosen and it is independent of the temperature of the cold junction for copper iron thermocouple the neutral temperature is 270 degree irrespective of temperature of the cold junction as the temperature of the hot junction is increased beyond neutral temperature the thermo emf starts decreasing and ultimately it becomes zero at one particular temperature called temperature of inversion so in this class i am going to discuss the neutral temperature as well as the temperature of inversion see look at here see that means this is this part is temperature of hot junction as the temperature of hot junction is varies we are going to note down the emf see here as the temperature of hot junction increases it will go like this and it will reach one particular point so this particular point is this temperature is neutral temperature neutral temperature it's the temperature at which this emf becomes maximum okay that neutral temperature is the temperature at which see here emf becomes maximum okay so this temperature is known as neutral temperature then again if it increase the temperature this emf this one cm emf starts to decrease and it will reach zero that means at this particular point at this particular point as we increase the temperature of the hot junction for a particular pair of material the emf becomes zero that is known as a temperature of inversion therefore the temperature of inversion is defined as the maximum temperature of the hot junction at which the thermo emf is zero nodi illi thermo emf zero ide okay so nan yen explain martta idini andre see we have taken a two pair of metals by using a two pair of metal nan join madidini one end anna i have kept it at a zero temperature and another end in a two metal join agida innond end anna what i have done so i am going to vary so na temperature anna vary maartta hodange thermo emf heng torustta ide nodi illi hige torustta ide so elli thermo emf becomes maximum 
the temperature at which the thermo emf becomes maximum is known as neutral temperature and as we increase the temperature of the hot junction the thermo emf decreases and it reaches 1 0 thermo emf becomes 0 that temperature is known as a neutral temperature okay uh, sorry temperature of inversion e emf 0 early ಆ ಪಾಯಿಂಟಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಇನ್ವರ್ಷನ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಇ ಎಮ್ ಎಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಇರೋ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ನ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಲ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ನಾವು ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ದ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಲ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಷನ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಷನ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಲ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಬೈ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಲ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಜಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು in that particular point i can say theta i that is temperature of inversion minus theta n is equal to theta n neutral temperature minus theta c okay so now that is theta c is the temperature of the cold junction okay theta i and temperature of inversion temperature of inversion minus temperature of inversion is equal to the temperature neutral temperature minus ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಜಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆರ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಟೂ ತೀಟಾ ಎನ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಇಲ್ಲೇ ರಿಅರೇಂಜ್ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ನೋಡಿ ತೀಟಾ ಎನ್ ಅನ್ನು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ತೇನೆ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಐಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಟೂ ತೀಟಾ ಎನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೈಡ್ ತೀಟಾ ಐ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ತೀಟಾ ಸಿ ಆರ್ ತೀಟಾ ಎನ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ತೀಟಾ ಐ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ತೀಟಾ ಸಿ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಬೈ ಟು ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಲ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಅರ್ಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ ಮೀನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಇನ್ವರ್ಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕೋಲ್ ಜಂಕ್ಷನ್ okay so this is the relation between neutral temperature and inversion temperature neutral temperature matte inversion temperature relation nodri theta n equal to theta i plus theta c divided by 2 and we will go for the relation between thermo emf and temperature so in case of a relation between thermo emf and temperature the thermo emf of many pairs of metals have been measured as a function of temperature of the hot junction then the thermo emf and temperature curve for a thermocouple can be represented by the equation e equal to a theta plus half d b theta square <coughs> so now where a and b are constants known as thermoelectric constants and theta is the temperature difference between the hot and cold junctions in degree celsius okay at neutral temperature the thermo emf is maximum therefore de by d theta equal to 0 okay where a and b are constant and thermoelectric constants and theta is the temperature difference between the hot and cold junctions okay then e equal to a theta plus half b theta square at neutral temperature what do you mean by neutral temperature that means at that particular temperature emf is maximum the thermo emf is maximum therefore d by d theta equal to 0 okay so d by d theta equal to 0 the rate of change of thermo emf with temperature is called thermo electric power or it is known as seebach coefficient okay so now thermo electric power andre nu d by d theta so therefore differentiating the equation see here differentiating this d by d theta we will get d by d theta of a theta plus half b theta square or a plus b theta okay just it's a differentiation therefore the thermoelectric power definition is a plus b theta now if we we'll plot the plot the graph of see here d d by d theta along y axis the theta along x axis see we the we will get the nature of graph like this okay now variation of e with the temperature if you look at the variation of e with the temperature as here the temperature increases the thermo emf increases and start to decrease okay now now what is neutral temperature and temperature of inversion okay we'll see the relation between them when e is uh, this one emf is maximum d by d theta is zero okay so d by d theta is zero or we know the values of e e equal to a theta plus b theta square 
or d by d theta equal to differentiation equal to a plus just differentiation b theta now sits here that is equal to 0. The same equation just it becomes 0 or neutral temperature equal to neutral temperature equal to see here a plus b theta n equal to 0. Therefore, what is theta n? Theta n equal to a will go this side a plus b theta n is 0. Therefore, what is theta n? Theta n equal to minus a by b uh, degree Celsius. Okay. What is temperature of inversion? Okay. So, temperature of uh, at the temperature of inversion the thermo EMF is 0. That means that means when theta is 0, theta is when theta is theta i. So, that means when temperature becomes the temperature of inversion then emf is 0 therefore this e equal to a theta plus half b theta square and e value 0 a theta a theta i plus half b theta i square ok so illi theta value theta i agathe and temperature of inversion at the particular point the temperature of inversion at this point emf is 0 Therefore, what will happen if the EMF is 0, then E becomes 0, E expression is E equal to A theta plus B theta square. So, E is 0 here. So, theta badlu theta i bar or 0 equal to theta i common to kundre A plus half B theta i or, or since theta i cannot be 0, theta i is 0 agala, temperature of inversion is 0 agala sadhya illa theoretically. Therefore, what will happen? Ha a plus half b theta i square. A plus half b theta i equal to 0. Or theta i equal to just rearrange the terms. Theta i equal to minus 2a by b. Minus 2a by b. So, now in an expression kalthvi li. One the inversion temperature kalthvi. In the neutral temperature derivations kalthvi. And next to thermoelectric power uh, derivation kalthvi. Okay here d by d theta go tu, and as well as theta n go tu, relation between neutral temperature and inversion temperature as well as in this class how the temperature of hot junction increase adaga emf hege hege change agathe for a particular couple thermo couple anta nodvi once again i'll repeat neutral temperature ge matte temperature of inversion en andre enu anta nodkondi eradne du the temperature of hot junctions on a thermocouple vary madaga thermo emf hege vary agathe anta nodvi then the later part then the later part later part see we derived what is d by d theta andre thermoelectric power andre a plus b theta anta maadkondvi okay so after that after that then what is the neutral temperature anta nodvi neutral temperature then the temperature of inversion Okay, this much. If you have any doubt, you can post in my Google class. Thank you.